morning and welcome back to the mansion build since me and drew were last here the joist has gone on the floorboards have gone on um, so it's going pretty good so far it's nice to see the job progressing today i'm going to blast this panel up so far i've just cast my line all the way down there because we've got to be building over the steels we put on a little while ago um, so yeah and then all I've got is a small tray detail going on on the third course so about here I'll have a tray detail but I'll speak about that in a little bit anyway for now me and Drew will go do some blasting and we'll catch up with you guys in a little bit I bet you can zoom in a little bit <laughs> I reckon I can I've never tried to zoom in Charlie used to be minutes at zooming in he used to zoom into whatever I was speaking about but I'm not saying you do that. So I'm just putting my tray on right now. So whenever you build on top of some steels, for example, I'm building on these two steels here, you always put a tray on 150 or 225 mil higher than your steels you're building on. This is because if any moisture gets into the cavity, if you didn't have a tray over your steels, the water would just go straight down and into your ceiling so this is why we put a tray on right now so as you can see I've got my upstand sorted I've got my first weep hole ready to go this tray is going to go in uh, across the entire length of these steels continuously just to protect any moisture getting into the building right so you just asked the question um, one, two, three courses of brickwork aren't actually going to be shown. When, when we have our flat roof on here, they'll either have a lead detail or some sort of rubber detail. What will be ground out of this joint and that, then that will slot into there. Does that make sense? Yeah. So yeah. just like a normal lead detail or some sort of waterproof detail. So that's why we've put the tray in there. Uh, so yeah, these three courses, I'm not too bothered about them because they're not going to be seen anyway. Yes, yes. And the line's just there for a guide, it's actually not for a height. Yeah, all good. Sorted. Me and Drew have pretty much wrapped up for the day. Um, we had a really, really slow start. We started laying about half 11 or something like that, just because we had a lot of problems with the electric. Kept tripping. Anyway, um, we ended up getting 500 down today. For saying we started at 11 and it's almost going dark now. We've put in a decent shift. Only thing is, I can't point this brickwork. I don't know if you can see that on the camera because it's going so dark. These were laid hours ago and they are just absolutely soaking so we're gonna have to point them tomorrow morning and we'll get here nice and early but we'll have a decent day tomorrow i'm gonna to blast this up and start on the front so we'll catch you guys tomorrow morning morning so just gone about half seven and we're on site pointing up yesterday's work because it is still very very wet so that's all good working on my own today drew yesterday was absolutely dying he's got some sort of sickness bug and uh, he wasn't very good yesterday so it's going to be me today working on my own so i'm going to change around a few things what i'm going to do but i am the best laborer i know so we should be all right so we're going to crack on get this wall pointed and we'll catch up in a little bit <laughs>
Tea Mixus in about five, ten minutes. Tip for any apprentice or labourer who wants to get compact really quick. Slightly messier, but about ten times quicker. Right, so what I've done, I've put a entire wheelbarrow of compo there, it's about five buckets. I've got four buckets over there. Earlier I said I like to change how I work if I'm working on my own, this is what I like to do. I like to work in a small confined area with loads of compo and loads of bricks. I've got a window revealed there, so I'm just going to build to my profile, rack out a massive corner here and rack to my window reveal. So this is what I'm going to be on with for this morning. See how many bricks we can get down. It is, uh, I bet it's about half nine. So we'll see how we get on. sent this corner up 14 courses to the return as well and it took about an hour hour and ten not too bad very wet right this is the stage we are at we've got two massive rat backs sorted with all the returns done just loaded out 250 maybe 300 bricks on this panel and I've just put on one two three four uh, three buckets of compo on each spot maybe three and a half so what we're gonna do right now is absolutely blast for the last uh, two and a half hours see how much I can get done on my own don't need to point it until tomorrow so another time lapse and we'll get going. Bye food. Oh, that is actually really tasty. Right, there we go. So, that's all the compo used up down here, which was a lot of mixers. Just had a little tot up, and it's about 420 bricks we've got down today. So, not the best, but not too bad. I'm saying all I've done is pretty much labor on myself today. So, yeah, not too bad. morning we are back on the job so far this morning I've loaded out an extra 200 or so bricks just need to point up the brickwork from yesterday it's still pretty green which is really decent thrown out a load of mixes and then once we've blasted this panel up we're gonna hop on the inside do all my cuts for the beam fill so plenty to be getting on with Drew isn't here again so uh, so yeah, just uh, another day of working hard. Right, so we've finished the brickwork up to height. Now all I'm going to do is clean out the cavity a tiny bit more and then do all of our beam fill. I've got about 30 cuts of it on this one and then start setting up some corners. Oh, 
right, I've just done all of the cuts for my bean fill. There's quite a lot in all fairness. Um, cleaned the cavity a little bit and just made sure it's got plenty of insulation, things like that. So right now I'm just gonna be working out of this gorilla tub. I saw Charlie do it ages ago. Rather than dishing out a load of spots, just gonna drag this along with me. Um, just a little side note, I below Joyce level I had a brick to bring well, to get to Joyce level I had a brick. So that means I've had to reset my ties out. I don't know if you can see that here. But ties now work again. I always like to bear that in mind when Joyce level isn't quite standard. So I always like to reset ties and make sure everything works. Anyway, right now I'm gonna do some blasting get all these blocks in and then probably set some corners up or maybe even some more beam fill. Sad. Morning, welcome back to the job. Um, it's Monday. I'm buzzing because Drew's finally back because you're feeling better now, aren't you Drew? Yeah, man. Um, right now I'm blasting this front up. We're going to set a window out here and go to this return. This morning, me and Drew sat that lintel on which was a right ball ache or the steel. And right now, me and Drew are going to do some blasting on the front of this build. So we'll catch up with you in a little bit. So me and Drew have got this panel, we've got this panel up earlier and we've done this massive return all to this window reveal here and we've also done this window reveal here. As you can see it is absolutely soaking so what we're going to do is we're going to spend the rest of the day loading out because all the bricks down the bottom of the garden there's loads to get up so we need to do that. And then we're gonna get set up on that side with our profiles. We've also got a load of block work to do down the alleyway because we've got like a coin corner. I forgot how to say it, but I'll show you guys that next time. Anyway, on that note, we will catch you in a little bit. So like, subscribe, comment, follow me on Instagram because sometimes I upload daily there. And I'll catch you in the next one. <laughs> Right, get those bricks up here now, mate. <laughs> 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 